Recently elected Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren wasted no time at her first Senate Banking Committee hearing. She took aim at Wall Street asking tough questions of members of the country's largest regulatory agencies. The question I'm really asking is can you identify when you last took the Wall Street banks to trial? We've got multiple people here. Anyone else want to tell me about the last time you took a Wall Street bank to trial? I'm really concerned that too big to fail has become too big for trial. That just seems wrong to me. She's referring to the fact that not a single senior executive from any of the biggest banks has faced any criminal penalty five years after the financial crisis began. So what is the reaction? Stuart Varney of the Fox Business Network says punishing a bank executive is an idea many would like to see. I think, though, that that message, jail a bank executive or two, that may be politically popular. Whether they've broken the law or not is another story entirely. This is politics, and this would be a political prosecution. Senator Warren was sworn into office just last month, but the Boston Business Journal writes she's not acting like the new kid. The New York Times reports most are not phased by the senator's actions at the hearing. Elizabeth Warren's distaste for Wall Street defined her tenure as a regulator, so it was no surprise when her inaugural appearance featured a scathing critique of financial risk-taking. But the Huffington Post notes the regulatory agencies have others to place the blame on after the hearing. The financial regulators can blame, at least in part, Wall Street lobbyists for their embarrassing turn at the hearing. Even though Warren has been in office less than two months, she is now the senior senator of Massachusetts after John Kerry took his post as Secretary of State February 1st. For Newsy, I'm Christian Bryant.